All right, so I got my electrical meter on ohms that, and it has a beep to it. So whenever it touches contact with itself, it'll always have a a beep. So I'm gonna set that aside because all I'm looking for is the known beep. I'm simulating this because this light strand is working now, but if I get a beep, that means that the wire from here to here is good. Plug in a light, which is probably not going to light up for you. You move on to the next bulb, unplug it. As long as you have zero ohms or close to zero ohms, it's going to beep. Plug in the next bulb. Now if you get to a point where you take the bulb out and you don't get a beep like that, then that means the bulb before it is bad and to replace that bulb with a known good bulb, which is... A good shunt. A, would have a good filament and a good shunt. Now I have tons of bulbs sitting on the table right there. All of them have good shunts to them. But they they, they will work. They don't light up, but they have good shunts. So they'll actually make the whole strand light up still. I'll put one in for you just so you can see. They have good shunts. They'll make the strand light up, but they won't light up themselves. Put in good shunt. That's a bad filament in the bulb, but the shunt is still intact, which allows voltage to go through to each part of the strand. If I, even if I take that bulb out, I still get an ohms reading and a continuity to make the strand work. So, the worst part about this whole diagnosis process on this light, on these lights, is that no matter what, you have to start at the plug and you have your test lead into the wire that runs the length of the whole strand and that will be continuity with the one three wired light all the way at the end of the strand. If you have continuity there, you're pretty much just never going to be any broken actual wires. See, it's that first light on this strand. It goes from two wires to three wires. If at any point in time you're going down the chain and you don't get a beep, that means the ball before it is bad and is not sending the signal through. As of right now, filament's burned out, but the shunt is still good. So that way it still carries through. Uh, but when you do start diagnosing, you have to start at the end from the plug and you got to go down the line one at a time still but this is still going to save so much time because you can be putting in bulbs that have a bad filament and a bad shunt you're expecting it to light up to make it light up that's not the case it doesn't have to be a good bulb to send power and route power through the rest of the strand and 90 percent of the time it's not going to be fun. It's going to end up being the one that's almost closest to the end of the half strand. I got about, I don't know, I guess I would say out of 50, which is half the strand, I got about 30 to 35 in beeping, not beeping, replace the bulb, beeping, 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 not beeping, replace the bulb until I get beeping beyond each side. If I get no beeping here, then I have to replace that bulb. If I get beeping, then I just pull that one out, put it there, and check that one for continuity. And if it beeps, I can move down the line again and again until I get to the center portion of the strand because half of the strand is going to light up. So sometimes you get lucky and you are maybe go like, I don't know, the third one in, fourth one in, better than 50 but 
the last half of this strand, oh yeah, it took me to the 40th bulb before I found the wrong one. And then I just replaced it with a known good one and boop, they light up. So this is still a better way of actually just replacing bulbs, transferring bulbs. Because as long as you got that beep, you know that you've tested the bulb good. Even if it has a bad uh, a bad filament in it, it'll still work. And when it finally lights up the strand, then you can start replacing the out bulbs with known good bulbs. Um, it's it gets it's as simple as I could put it, and it's not the simplest that I could think that I may be able to put it. But you got any questions? Just uh, just ask them, and I'll try and help. Because um, I couldn't just go out and I couldn't let a light strand just beat me. You know, I was like, it's just a simple in series lights with the parallel wired in couple of this and that like I'm not I'm not gonna let a simple Christmas lights beat me and I was determined so I got that strand working and then I finally got that strand working but I needed over 100 replacement bulbs from another strand that we basically threw away in the trash can yep they're in the trash can they're there we took every bulb out of that hundred strand to replace so we replaced over a hundred bulbs in these two strands only to find out that after we made them all work guess what I still still had only a hundred and ninety bulbs ten are out still and that's what I would do. I would take that bulb out. I'd test for continuity between the plug and it. If it beeped, then we know that bulb was good. If it didn't, then I'd replace that bulb, test it again. If it tested beep on the one side, then you can move on. Pull that one out, put it in that one. Move down here, test. If it goes beep, same thing. Pull that one out, put it in that one. If it beeps here now, beep then you're good but all of a sudden you take this out put it in that one and then you test it again and there's nothing then you know the one before it was bad and to replace it with a known good one uh, probably the last part of that like last 45 seconds of the video i just made was probably clearer than the first seven minutes so once again good luck on your christmas lights hope this helps in the least bit thanks for watching happy thanksgiving and merry christmas Good night.